Hey guys, it's Amy from Amy Parker Art and founder of Creative Warriors. I teach artists how to market their paintings online with auctions, shows, and parties. So hello, hello. Welcome to Paint Night. I just got back from Maine. I'm a little discombobulated here. I'm trying to find everything that I need, get my stuff ready, and then we will go over, um, you know, what we're using and uh, what we're going to paint tonight. So... Uh, let's see here. I'm just going to pull up my info. So when you come on, go ahead. Let me know. I'll say hi. Um, make sure that you tap the video and click on the bell so that you can get all the notifications when I go live. And let's see. Okay, so I'm just getting my martini uh, supply list up here, do, 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 and I'm trying to find you guys over here on my computer, and also lost my glasses, so I'm using a crappy pair, and hopefully I can see all right, <laughs> we'll see how this goes, just drove back from Maine, we went and stayed with my mother for the night, me and the girls, it was pretty awesome, had a good time, and, um, here, I'm just pulling you guys up over here so I can see what's going on. <clears throat> Had a good time, and I know darn well that I did not leave my glasses there. So, I know I brought them. They were in the car with me, and now I cannot find them. Yes, Mom, hello. I made it. Yay. I made it. All right. We are going to be painting step-by-step -step tonight. Uh, it's called Martini. It is a painting design that I created years ago and I've sold numerous pieces of. All right, so we're going to use a, um, let's see what we're using here. We're going to be using a one inch flat brush. One inch flat, uh, three fourths angled or a one or a half inch angled. So I'll grab that one. A round and a detailed. Okay, so round and detailed. I'll show these again, too, in a minute. Color is pretty darn easy for colors, you guys. Black, white, red, green, blue. Let me grab those. Black, white, red, green, blue. Getting some medium here. So, let's see. Are we open on this? Is this one open? Well, that one probably isn't open yet. No. Let me see if I can find one that's open. <laughs> so, hopefully you guys had a good week. I know I haven't seen you in a while. So, my bad, but I'm here now. I'm here now. All right, well, I might have to just open some new paint bottles. We'll see. We'll see. I don't know why the heck I marked this one black when, hello, it's clearly white. I mean, what is going on? Okay, now we need red, green, and blue. So, red, green, and blue. Here is some green. Here's some blue. Let's see what else I got for blue. I got my cobalt blue. And I have my bright blue. I like the bright blue. I might just open up some new some new paints tonight. So black, white, red, green, blue. Paint colors. Let me get my little... I like to use this thing to like open. Let me show you because the, I'm just using like cheap craft paints here. Just the apple barrel from like Walmart. But see, it's so much easier if you guys just use one of these like little plier things or whatever then you don't get it stuck all in your nails and dump your colors all over the darn place like I do and then shake these up really good if you're using these you guys can use tube paints you can use whatever paints you want really it's just I'm painting with acrylics and I'm just showing you what I you know use in case you want to get the same step so I'm going to be painting um the martini on this um, multimedia paper that I have taped down to my cardboard so it doesn't slide everywhere. And I got a little blue on there, but I'm not going to worry about that. So um, you can, this is size 11 by 14, by the way. So you can use the same size or a different size. And if you want to 
use canvas, use a canvas. Obviously, when I am painting for my collectors, I'm painting on canvases. And like I said, this is like one of my most popular paintings throughout the years, like since I've been painting. So if you're a creative warrior, and hello, Gail, I see one here. You guys can use this design to sell and make money on. That is totally fine. If you're not a creative warrior, then no, you can't. But you most certainly can join along, have some fun, and paint, you know, paint along with us. And hello, I said I needed red, right? We kind of need, we kind of need red because there is, oh, this one's already open. I'm good with that. Um, I don't know. Squirrel moment. Squirrel moment, people. I'll try and turn the camera around after and say hello. Still didn't even get a chance to say hi to Tim or anything yet, but that's okay. He's my hubby wubby. He knows. He gets it. He understands. All right. These are like the two different types of mediums that I use. Usually I use this one. Um, sometimes I use this one mostly with my tube paints. This one mostly with my craft paints. And the multimedia paper that I'm using is a Canson oil and acrylic uh, paper. You guys, this is so easy tonight and it's amazing. So you're going to like completely surprise yourself and be like, oh my God, I can't believe that I can paint glass because it's a really striking piece. And actually I have to pull it up right here on the computer so I can see it as I paint it with you. So give me a moment so I can pull up my picture of my painting that I did find. Um, I'm going through all my files right now. You guys do this on your computer. I'm sure you got your files everywhere. Okay, I'm a business page. Paint nights. Let me find deep martini. Of course, that one's the whole, the whole picture. And I just wanted... Like, let me see if I can blow it up. See if I can blow it up. Yeah, that'll probably be, probably work. Okay, so once again, I got a flat brush, one inch. If you don't have the same sizes, that's fine. You guys use what you have. I'm using a half inch angled flat, but you can use three quarter inch. That's fine. A detailed or a script liner, just a tiny bristled brush there. Um... Not not a bristle e, but you know the uh, whatever you guys know what I mean, <laughs> and just a round brush. Okay, so kind of minimal supplies here tonight. Minimal supplies. All right, so hopefully everybody is ready to get started, and I'm just gonna look see what you're saying real quick, and then I'm going to get moving on so we can start painting. Um. Gail, thank you for hashtag and CW. She's my creative warrior girl. Uh, Beth, thank you for painting the love, dear. Thank you. Patricia, hello. Just watching tonight. That's okay. You can pause and paint later. Hi, everyone. Mom's saying just watching too because I'm laid up in bed. Yeah, we know you're laid up in bed. I'm so sorry. Back issues just really super. Oh, you guys know what? They're horrible. I'm just going to try to adjust my camera for a second. Hold on. Just want to make sure I've got the right positioning here for you. Seems to be wanting to kind of roll on its side. All right. Oh, I think we are good. We are good. Okay. You guys, it's like I said, it's going to be easy tonight. First part's definitely easy. You might want a blow dryer for this. I'm not going to use one. I'm just going to kind of roll with it. Well, unless I absolutely need it. But I don't know. We'll see. See if I can just make it without it. So I just wet this uh, one inch brush. And kind of wiped it like that on the paper towel. So get that ready. We are going to... Um, I'm going to move over to my reference photo as I paint here. And then I'll go back and forth to see your comments. And thank you so much for... Um, saying hi and hanging out and joining the conversation. All right, so I'm going to get red first. We are doing like straight red, you guys. Straight red. That's all we're doing. So just put some uh, red on your palette. We are also going to... Ooh, this, this black, I don't feel like dealing with goobers tonight. So I think I just opened this one, right? Yeah, I did. So I'm just going to use my, my new opened pieces. So we want to get some red on your palette. Get some black on your palette. 
Mm -hmm. That one still has a little bit of goobery goo, but we'll deal with it. We'll live. We'll be okay. All right. We are going to um, take our one inch and just load it up with straight red. And literally, we're going to paint down a little past halfway on our surface. So what I'm going to do really is just kind of go quickly back and forth. I'm just laying this down and wiping it like that. So I'm just going to go like this. So it's not really, I usually just kind of measure with my fingers. I go like that, like where's the half mark would be there. So I'm just going down a little bit further. That's all I'm doing. And then painting all the way up, just back and forth strokes like this across because we want to fill this up with seriously bright red just straight red going to make a huge statement here. A lot of black and white paintings are, I love to do black and white, even though this one is not, but this one is sort of similar because we're just basically using like a couple of really dominant colors here, which is black and red for the background. And then we're going to paint this beautiful artistic looking martini glass in here. And um, so if you have trouble painting glass, make things look like glass, then you are on the right page in place and time right now here with me um, to figure out how to do that. I'm going to show you. So literally, you guys, just back and forth, just with the red, a little further down than half on your surface and go up with it. Okay. And if, I always tell you, if you want to make yours a little different, that's fine. Because, hey, we're all artists. We all have our own um, creative desires and, and, like, intuitions and things like that. So you paint it how you want. But if you want to go step by step with me, that's fine. You can always try another thing after or whatever. I'm sorry, you guys. Those of you on my text, um, I did not send out a text because literally I just rolled in with the car and just pulled out my suitcases from staying at mom's and I don't really know where everything is right now and I didn't have time to do a text so hopefully you guys that I text know and you'll be able to just show up here okay um I just rinsed that brush off now I'm going to grab the black and I'm going to make try and make sure I don't grab any goobers uh, just grab the black and just start right from the bottom right up. And actually, you might want to just start right here first because we kind of want to blend a little bit of the black and the red um, so that it's not like a straight, stark line there. And I can tell I'm going to need a little bit of medium to kind of do that. So I'm just going to see if I have any left in here. Probably not. Of course not. So I'm going to use a little bit of my fluid matte medium. Um, if you don't have medium, just use water. That's fine. But it kind of, the matte medium kind of looks like glue, but it dries clear. So I'm just putting a little bit of that on and then I'm just kind of going back and forth to kind of blend that in there a little bit. Just so it doesn't look like a, you know, a real line. I mean, yours could if you wanted, but whatever you want to do. So I just kind of blended it a little bit. Now, now all I'm going to do to finish this is just straight black. Straight black, straight black. Looks like a Pokeball. Oh, yeah, it does look like a Pokeball. We know all you people with little kids or little grandkids. If you know what a Pokeball is, of course, my daughter, who is an adult, still loves Pokey. Mom. So I definitely know what that is. I'm very familiar with the Pokemon. Oh my God, you guys, on the way like to Maine and back, well, on the way up there, um, of course, we're driving around all these, you know, country roads and stuff. It's so gorgeous, by the way. What a beautiful ride. Just back and forth with your one inch flat in black. That's all I'm doing. Um, anyway, we... The girls didn't see it on the way down. I went with both the kids, Emily and Justine, my beautiful daughters, and um, went to see my mom. So this is it. So all we got to do, and then you can blow dry if you want, because it probably should be dry before you start painting your glass on. Actually, it definitely should be dry. But anyway, I'll tell you this little story while you're waiting for your uh, paint to dry and get that on there. So we were driving down this little country road, and... Um, 
you know, they got little stores and things like that. Well, I thought it was a store, but on the way back, I noticed it was actually somebody's house. But it was an, it was an old, fa I was actually driving. Emily helped a little bit here and there, but I was driving at this time. And I noticed from the corner of my eye something like bright blue. So I looked quickly and there was like an, this house had like an old fashioned um, phone booth that was like right literally right outside their door. It was really cool. And they had like this, I don't know. I don't, I'm guessing it was probably like a, like a wax sculpture or something. It looked like a real human. Okay. It was a doll or a wax person or something. It was Superman and he was dressed up in his Superman outfit and it was just the coolest thing. It was just Really crazy. So on the way back, and the girls literally saw it so that they knew I was not out of my mind. I'm like, okay, the Superman is coming up. Everybody's going to keep your eye out for the Snoop Superman. It's going to be happening soon. And, yep, they saw it. And Emily was just cracking up. She's like, that is an odd thing to have, like, right in front of your door. But, anyway, yeah, <laughs> I just thought it was neat. All right. Um... I might have to, you know what, you guys, I'm going to have to get the blow dryer because mine's not drying fast enough. Usually this paper dries pretty quick, but I'm going to need to hit that. So let me grab the blow dryer. Go ahead and blow dry yours if you have yours. And I'm still wondering where the heck my glasses went. I mean, I have another pair. I have like a backup pair. And they real I hate them. Uh, I'm wearing them right now, and it's awful. It's really not good. I can't see too well with it. So, so you guys, uh, I apologize if uh, painting's not going to come out that great tonight. I can't see. Sorry about the noise. dry pretty fast so if you have a canvas then the canvas will take a little bit longer to dry because the multimedia paper dries the quickest but here we go hopefully nobody is scared we are actually going to attempt well I'm not going to attempt we are going to get some white on our palette and we are going to make this martini glass and it's going to be super cool so load up some white people Load up some white. For the glass, we are going to use white with like a tiny bit of gray. Uh, but we don't need to mix that. We already got a little bit of black right there. All right, so I'm just turning my paper towel around because I got a lot of black on there already. Black and red. I need to make sure I got space. All right, we are going to take our smaller flat brush. Now, you can. it doesn't have to be angled. If you don't have an angle, that's fine. You can just use a smaller flat brush, okay? All right, so I'm going to wet that and then tap that back and forth on my paper towel. And we are going to pick up some white. You might want to add a little medium to that, make it like flow a little better. But we're going to pick up some white and we're going to use that chiseled edge. We really want it to be like a chiseled edge. There we go. All right, so we are going to kind of mark things out first off. Um, let me figure out where I want this to go. Okay, so one, two, do that. Put two little dots. Th those ones might be a little too far away, but once again, I'm kind of blind. I don't have the right glasses on, so <laughs> hopefully you guys are all right with that. Okay, and then mark another one. So it kind of looks like a face, right? Um, we've got the two eyes and the nose in there. So you want to mark that in. And then we are going to go... Do, 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 do. We're going to go down about, uh, wait, do I want to do that yet? I don't want to do that yet. Hopefully you didn't touch down on there. Hopefully you weren't ahead of me. We're going to just do the top part of the glass first. I think that's going to be the easiest. We're going to do that first. All right. So basically we are going to take these two eyes and just connect them with a little bit of an arc like that. And then same with the bottom. 
arc it the other way. A little bit of an arc like that. That is the top of our glass. All right, now, bump, 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 we are going to pull. We want to make sure that these are pretty even, okay? We're going to pull down like this. You can leave that dot right there in the middle. Pull down like this so that we have that, like, little cone shape, cone shape thing going on. I don't really like to use a lot of tracers, you guys. I mean, I know that I do make, uh, I have made a lot up in the past, and I do make some, but we don't really need, like, tons of tracers. All right, we're going to do this little doohickey thing, like my terminology. We're going to pick up a little bit of black on our brush there because we're going to make a little bit of gray on our brush and make a little bit of gray. It's very faint. I might want it a little bit darker. I'm just picking up a little gray, and we are just going to go like this on the bottom, and I just curved down, made this like little curve down with that gray right there. Now we are going to take the same light gray, because we're going to get some grays in here first. And we are going to touch here and whip that down. Then we are going to touch here and kind of go over. So we're making some different, like, this one comes down, this one goes over. Okay? It doesn't have to be perfect. Just touch down and move it. All right, so this is the gray pieces. Where else do I want to put some gray? All right, so we're still doing some gray here. I'm still using that angled, small, smaller brush. And now, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum, um, we are just going to make a slightly curved line like that gray, slightly curved line. And then we are going to curve this one a little bit. So now we got two lines. This back one, we're going to curve a little more like that, like so. So now we got these kind of, just notice how I have like them angled, right? It might not make any sense right now, but it's going to look super cool. Okay, so we just wanted to get like some grays kind of going on in there. I think I want to put a little bit of gray right here too on the back of that glass. Just touch down and put like a couple like little pieces of gray. Doesn't have to be perfect. All right, now, now hit that with the blow dryer if yours is wet. Um, because we are going to paint the olive in there. But let me see. Let me see. Yeah, we're going to put the whites in after. All right, so hit that with your blow dryer. And we're going to make a, an olive green color so we're just going to take some green and if you're talking to me I apologize I can't see any comments right now but I will go back and check okay um we are going to take some green oh you know what if you have yellow I didn't have it on the um sorry my bad I didn't have it on the uh, color list but put a tiny bit of yellow if you have it uh, on hand, if not, don't worry about it. You can just use like a tad bit of uh, black in there, probably look fine. So I'm just mixing a little bit of yellow into my green, a little bit of yellow into my green. Then I'm gonna take a touch of black and put that into my green mix that I just made. So a little bit of black, a little bit of yellow, and mostly green. All right, I'm using a round brush. I'm just going to kind of go like this on the end, using my round brush. For this, we're just going to make the olive. And all we're going to do is touch down, push, and then lift up on the end. All right. You can make yours a little fatter. Either way, it doesn't matter. We're just going to make a little, like a jelly bean. Like a little jelly bean right there. And then let that dry. We're going to put a little dab of red in there, but we're going to let that dry. 
All right. Now we're going to work on the glass a little bit more while that olive dries. So let's pick up our flat brush again. Flat brush again. And I need to rinse off this round brush. Hold on one moment. And we are going to grab some more white on that brush. Flat brush. And we're going to we're going to make this really cool little angle in here. All right. So let's see. I'm going to grab the end and pull down this one and pull down and curve like so. Then I'm going to curve it back. And I'm going to flare it out on the end. I don't want to mess with it too much because I don't want to mess it up. Okay. Then all I did there was I just touched down and made like a little Nike swipe kind of. All right. And now... I'm going to come in the front, I'm kind of going to look up here and kind of go down to the middle, touch down here. I'm going to make a dot here and a dot here. So we have another face. We have two eyeballs and a, like a stern mouth. And I'm just going to connect these. Just going to connect those. Pull this up here, right into there. If you're having trouble, you can use your detailed brush if you need to, but I'm just kind of going with it with that. All right, so now, hopefully you guys are doing okay. I mean, it looks kind of weird, but it's all gonna come together. I mean, you're starting to see, like, it's got a cool shape to it. All right, I just put straight white on my brush. I'm just going to go in here and make a, a couple little lines, like so. Yours don't have to be exact. And do not cover up all of the black. We need the black and the red to show through this because it's glass here. I'm just putting a couple little little lines different spots like that. We don't, like I said, we don't want to put too many. But now I'm going to go back up with some more white. Right in here, I'm going to touch down and I'm going to just kind of pull like that. I'm going to touch down right here where my liquid is and pull that on this back gray one. Make a line down. I'm using white right now on my brush. I'm going to touch down right here, pull in, still using white. Actually, I want that to pull out a little bit more like that. All right, so where these grays were, we need to go right over those with some white, okay? So that it looks like the glass, you know, it looks like there's a back part and a front part to the glass. So that's all you do. You just do that bottom curve right in with some white. And the gray is really ever so slightly different, but, you know, it looks cool, right? And then on the top of where, the, where we put some of the gray, it's okay to put a couple of accents of white in there so that we can see gray and white. All I'm doing is just touching down a couple spots. Now where the water is, and you can use a detail brush for this if you want, or you know what, I'll show you how to use the detail brush for that. I'm going to use my smaller brush, load that up with some white, 
So you can use your angled or your detail. It doesn't matter. It seems like I need some more water in here. If you're having trouble, you can pause and paint after. Don't worry. I'll leave it on here. All right. We, we, we put this, this um, little line here. We are going to touch down and we are going to put some some white right in here. We don't want to cover up all the gray, but we want um, this white to kind of be prominent right in the front. So then it looks like, like I said, like the liquid is, you know, in the glass, right? I'm going to still use my detail brush and my white. You guys can just look at your painting and be like, oh my God, yes, it needs a little bit of white there or it needs a little hint of gray there or wherever you think it looks good. I'm going to put a little bit of white right there. Remember, we don't want to cover everything up. There's, you know, really no right or wrong. I just put a little bit of white on top of that olive. There's really no right or wrong about, um, you know, where you put these little accents as long as... The white ones are going to come out in the front. Do you know what I'm trying to say? Hopefully I'm, hopefully I'm, hopefully I'm picking up what I'm throwing down, right? All right, so I'm going to pick up a little darker with my, um, a darker green, so black and green. And I'm just going to put a line, a little line right under my olive there. So you can tell that the that's the bottom of the olive. I'm also, I see that I have a little darker line in my original painting, which I think looks cool. So I'm going to do that too. So I'm going to grab some black with my detail brush. And I'm just going to go up in here and kind of pull that down. Because, you know, we've got the red and the black background. So your painting can pick up like different colors, right, of the black. So you can put some black in there if you want, wherever you think it would look kind of cool. I'm just going to do that. Now, you can still use that detailed brush or you can use the small angled or even the round. It doesn't matter. Whatever you're most comfortable with. I just really, really love the angle brushes. So that's why I kind of go with that, with the angled brushes. I'm just mixing up some more gray here. Mixing up some old gray. And I'm going to put a little bit of gray in through the bottom of this little design on my glass. Different spots so that it looks like it's, you know, got these different tones in it. I'm just touching down where I think it would look cool. Where I think it would look cool. So that we can have all of these different, you know, gray, white, a little bit of black. That's totally fine, too. All right. Now I'm going to grab my detailed again and get a lot of, a, like, a red glob on the end of that. Touch that down right here on my olive. I might have had too much water in that because it looks pretty watery I don't know we'll see I might have to actually touch down with a paper towel and pull that off because it was a little watery had too much water so I need to do that again I'm going to put some more green for my olive then I got to get a darker a little bit of darker underneath it a little darker line then I will put my uh my red, my red blob back in there. Red blob. I don't know. Is it orange or red? I don't even know, you guys. And I don't know if martini is like you're supposed to have a straw or not, but I put one in and I think it looks pretty cool. So I'm just going to, in the original, looks pretty cool. I'm going to put a little, not that I needed that much for a straw. Hello. No wonder I always need paint. I'm just going to grab some blue. And I'm just going to lay it in here. Notice what I did. 
I did not paint over this front line of where the glass is. If you do, that's okay. You just put some white right over it again. But you want the straw to look like it's inside of the glass. I mean, easy, right? How easy is that? It's just one of those little tiny skinny straws. Now I'd like to put like a little blue highlight on that. So I just grabbed a little bit of white and blue on my brush. And I'm just going to give it a little, a little highlight in some spots. Like so. I mean, seriously, how easy you guys just painted, you guys just painted, um, glass. All right. Now I can see I have a mistake here because this was my, this was my, uh, my back where the clear liquid is in my front and see, I put the straw right in there. So I need to fix that by just putting a dab of white over there. So you want to really look at your, your drink and decipher, you know, where the straw is supposed to go. So you can see this is correct. It's sticking up through the glass, but you covered over the front of it. Now I'm just going to, uh, it is still kind of wet. So it's making like a blue, it's making like a blue line, but you get the gist. It's supposed to be just white right there. I'll just go over it after. Uh, but yeah, how cool. I mean, this is not perfect, you guys. I mean, you know, but hey, it's a, it's like a cool painting. Um, you know, you can make yours skinnier. You can make yours a different shape. You can, you, you know, just mess around with it and come up with like some different designs. Like how cool would that look to have like <clears throat> three or four, well, I should say three or five paintings, like a little collection like that. That would look pretty darn neat. And, like, you could paint the backgrounds different colors, like, use the primary colors or whatever the heck colors you want. Or you can make different drinks and stuff. Um, I've actually painted, like, champagne before and wine glasses uh, and wine pouring and things like that. And it looks so cool. Um, especially, like, the little bubblies, the little fizzy stuff, you know, that you can put inside the glass. Um, so, like, say... I'm looking at my painting and I want that olive to like even be pushed back more like into my painting. This might be a little scary here because I know it's still wet, but I'm going to attempt to just put a little bit of, um, well, maybe like really light gray, a little bit of white and gray to just kind of like put this over a couple of spots. You could do this too. See what I just did? And then that pushes in your olive to kind of make it look like it's even more submersed in there. I mean, you go crazy. You could put like little stars in here. Whatever the heck you guys want. But simple painting. And basically the keys to painting glass, and this was a really quick example, but um, using, making sure that you can see through it, right? So don't cover up all of your background. Make sure you can see some of your background. Um, also I just use the, um, the, the white, the gray and, you know, some brushes like the detail brush and the flat brush to make like some different cool shapes and things like that. Um, I'm going to turn you, I'm going to turn you around. Hopefully I don't lose you. I'm going to, I'm going to attempt to turn you guys around. Hopefully I don't lose you, so that way I can say hi and see you, and if you have any questions about the painting, we'll go over it. Yay, it works. So, hello, hello. I might be looking like an angel because I move things around in the table. Uh, the so Can I talk? I move things around here in the studio, so... Um, so, anyway, now the window's behind me. I can shut the curtain if it's a pain in the butt, but... Yes, came out really, really cool for a really quick painting. And you guys, don't be afraid of trying to paint, trying to paint um, glass. Because that's how easy it is. It's easy peasy. 
That's going to get a ton of cat hair on it because that's exactly where Kirby likes to sleep. But let me, let me pull up what you're saying here. Let me see if I can find you guys. Because these, these glasses, they're not really happening. I'm going to have to try and find my other glasses or buy some in the morning so I can see what the heck I'm doing. But let me read what you guys are saying. Uh, thank you, Beth, once again. I appreciate that. Uh, that's laid up. I know she's got a sore back right now. I'm sorry. Me too. But, um, yours is worse off than mine <laughs> right now. <clears throat> Remember those little Pokemon circles that you used to be able to cut out of the Kraft macaroni and cheese? Yeah, that was pretty, pretty fun. I remember we had tons of those. Hello, Linda. Thanks for being here. Thanks, Lisa Marie. Hello to you too. And yes, it is martini glass. Um, looking good, Beth says. Oh, Beth, I love the little gif. That is so darn cute. Where'd you find it? Dorothy, hello. Dorothy's creative warrior. Woo woo. Uh, Linda's a creative warrior. Beth, Gail, lots of you here tonight. Um, even looks better. Happy accident. Yeah, right. I mean, gosh, we all love Bob Ross, right? Happy accidents. I should kind of move here so you can like see. But then I don't know if I can see what you're saying. I'm going to pull the computer a little bit closer. So that way you can see the glass behind me. And let me know if you have any questions about that. Um, I'm channeling James Bond at the moment. <laughs> That's awesome. You're funny. Um, uh, reddish orange. Yeah, Beth. That's what I thought. Probably reddish orange for the inside of the, um, I was going to say the apple. But hey, they have apple martinis, right? But the little olive. Um, Lisa likes it. It's so cute. Thanks, Linda. Oh, you guys are great. Thank you all for being here. All right. So, um, I have exciting stuff coming up for Creative Warriors next month. I cannot wait, wait, wait for you guys to get the training on the painting, which comes with a marketing pack for you. Um, but remember, if you're a creative warrior, you most certainly can whip some of these up and put these in your groups and, you know, um, on your pages, your websites, eBay, whatever, or, you know, um, your Etsy, what, whatever you want, wherever you want to put it. Um, and yeah, run with it. And of course, let me know what happens because I always want to know, I want to help you guys out. So, um, just keep your eye on the events. Keep your eyes here on the page. I'm, I've got some things in my thinking cap for like next paintings and stuff. So I'm working on those in my brain and I'm going to come up with those next few days to kind of get going and get some, um, some more events listed things like that. Um, but I am going to probably piece on out of here because I need to go find my real glasses. These are like my backup fake glasses and <laughs> I'm going to get a headache. <laughs> but I hope that you guys enjoyed this. Thank you for hanging out with me. I really appreciate it. Um, don't forget, touch the, the, um, touch my face, touch the martini, click the bell so you can get notified. And uh, if you have any questions, let me know. I look forward to hanging out again soon. I promise I'm not going to be um, ghosting you all week. I, I will be on the page soon again. Okay. So, and if you want me to text you, get on my text. My text. Um, text me. Text me. Say, hey, it's so-and-so. And, -so, and um, I'll put you on my text. So, um, my cell is 603-273-6187. So that I can send out a text for you guys. All right. Have a good night. Bye, guys.